whether the request can be granted. I now call upon Senator Therese Moody. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know that many of my colleagues wish, wish to speak today, so I'll make my comments brief. Mr. Speaker, on June the 4th, 2020, Chantal Moore was shot and killed by police in New, New Brunswick. She was from the Tahlequah First Nations in British Columbia. On May the 27th, Regis Korczynski Paquette died in Toronto following an encounter with the police. She was a black woman. Both women were under 20, 30 years of age. On May the 6th, the Vancouver police stated that there had been 20 incidents of anti-Asian hate crimes so far in 2020, surging sharply from the 12 reported in total for 2019. These sad stories point to the racism that explicitly and systemically exists in our country. Mr. Speaker, the COVID-19 crisis has shaken our country to its core, acutely unmasking and ugliness and surging brutality, unmasking the insidious disease called racism that many of us have known but has been ignored for far too long. According to Rule 832, I need to prove two things to make this argument for you. That the matter concerns the administrative responsibilities of the government or could come within the scope of departmental action as the first rule. And the second is that it is unlikely that the Senate will have another opportunity to consider this matter within a reasonable period of time. Mr. Speaker, on the first criteria, the government has failed to act on the issue of racism. There have been no meaningful actions on the recommendation of the 2018 report from the House of Commons Heritage Committee on Systemic Discrimination. Similarly, the government has recently announced it no longer intends to produce an action plan this month to implement the recommendations of the inquiry on missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. The government has also failed, fall, fallen short on its promise to reform the public service, to put in place stronger policies to promote economic prosperity, to reform criminal justice and public safety, and to provide race-based data that will guide policy decision-making. In all of these areas, fall within the scope and authority of various government departments who have failed to act in the best interest of racialized Canadians. <clears throat> On the second criteria, Mr. Speaker, the pandemic has critically reduced our time in this chamber. We are all aware that this is the third regular sitting day we have had since March the 13th. Over the next few weeks, we may unfortunately continue to face uncertainty and severe restrictions around our time together to address this critical issue in the interest of all Canadians. For those reasons I've presented, I would also state, Mr. Speaker, that this places the Senate in a position where it will not be able to have this debate in a reasonable period of time. And I feel that this debate is already overdue. Mr. Speaker, it is clear to me the rules of the Senate endorse this debate, and I hope that you rule in this favor. Thank you. Senator Platt. 